Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Thanks God, it's time to read Bible. Let's continue on John chapter six. Today we will go through verse twenty five to thirty five. We have been reading that Jesus fed the the five thousand at Bethsaida with five loaves and two fish. However, people intended to make him king by force. Jesus immediately made his disciples get into the boat to cross the lake. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters grew rough. Therefore, the disciples had experienced that Jesus walked on the water and made the water calm. The disciples also experienced Jesus is really the Son of God. On the other, on the other hand, Jesus kept away from the people those who intended to make him king by force. However, the people tried to search Jesus for a whole night. Until the next day, they got into the boat, and went to Capernaum. They found Jesus, verse twenty five. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, "Rabbi, when did you get there?" They really paid the price to search for Jesus. So when they saw Jesus, they could not wait to ask him, "When did you get there?" Actually, their question was, "How did you get here?" Those who did not know Jesus would like to know how did Jesus perform the miracles. However, Jesus doesn't. However, Jesus didn't answer this kind of question. Instead, Jesus would like to know why they want to find him. Sometimes we care about how to do the ministry, but in fact, the Lord Jesus wants to know our intention, why we want to do the ministry. Verse twenty six. Jesus answered, "I tell you the truth, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and had and had your fill." Every time when Jesus said, "I tell you the truth," it must be really important, and Jesus' answer was really their intention. Those people got fed. By the sign of the five loaves and the two fish, they did involve in the sign, and they really experienced the sign. But the white Jesus said they came to find him not because they saw the sign. Jesus performed the sign not only to feed the five thousand, but also the purpose is to to is to reveal his glory. However, those people only got fed. They could not see his glory, even though they had the exp the experience of eating the loaves and the head fill. The experience was temporary. To them, they will be hungry very soon, and they will find food again. It becomes a vicious circle over and over. A real sign is you see the glory of God and understand Jesus was sent by God. Therefore, you are able to give up. You are able. You are able to give up everything to follow Jesus. You are not telling Jesus what to do, but you follow Jesus, and ask Him what we can do for Him. Then Jesus kept talk. Kept talking to those people in verse twenty seven, do not work for food that spoils, but for food that enters to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. On him, God the Father has placed His seal of approval. There is one do not, and one must do. Do not work for food that sp spoils, even though food is necessary for our living. 
if we spend all our life working for this food, our life is worthless, because the food will be perished. Our pursuit on the earth is like the food will be perished. One day, as your days on the earth coming to the end, all your earthly possessions will be gone as well. So we must, so we must work for food that enters to eternal life. One side, we have to work for food that enters to eternal life. The other side is that the food is given to us from the Son of Man. In fact, we are not only have to work for food that enters to eternal life. But also, the Son of Man will give to us. Why Jesus said, "said the Son of Man, but not the Son of God." Actually, the Son of Man corresponds to the loaves and the fish. The Son of Man means the loaves. A kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies. It produces many seeds. So the seeds could be collect, col- collected, rolled, and made into bread. And the whole process, Jesus had to be the Son of Man, in order to complete the whole process. Moreover, the Son of Man is also meaning the fish, living in the living in the corrupted world. But without sin, so he could be the sinner's ransom. Jesus must be the Son of Man in order to complete the redemption on the cross. He is not only the Man of, he is not only the Son of Man, but also God the Father has placed His seal of approval. God sent the Son of Man to the earth. So he totally belongs to God the Father, and be one with Him. Everything he does, God the Father, has placed His seal of approval. In fact, those people did not understand what Jesus said, but when they heard that work for food that endures to eternal life. They ask Jesus in verse twenty eight. What must we do to do the works God requires? In King James version, in King King James version, it says, "Work the works God requires." At that time, there were six hundred thirteen Jewish laws. For the Jews, follow the laws was like working. Since they are they there were so many laws, they began to wonder which laws were required by God. Fallen people always want to prove their worth. They don't like to work the works, so they asked Jesus, "What must they do to do the works God requires?" They really don't understand themselves, because when a man realizes his own corruption, he will also realize he can't do anything. In fact, those people only heard Jesus mentioned that must work for food that enters to eternal life, but they did not hear or they ignored which. The Son of Man will give you, and on Him God the Father has placed His seal of approval. God gives the food to us, to enjoy. Jesus then answered them, in verse twenty nine, the work of God is this, to believe in the one He has sent. They ask Jesus what works. Which is parallel, 
But Jesus answered with work, which is singular. Therefore, there is only work have to do, which is only to believe in the one God has sent. God doesn't need us to work the works, but only He works on us by our faith. Because God's work is the life. Because God's work is the life work, as we believe in Him, God's life might be working on us, so the holy eternal life will be growing on us, and we will be able to understand God's will more and more. Once we understand God's will, we will be able to be sent by God to work His works. However. This ability is not from ourselves, but from God. If you are not the initiator, not the one who works, then you are not the one who is glorified in the end. They still could not understand, so they kept asking in verse thirty, "What sign then will you give, that we might see it and believe you?" What will you do, verse thirty one? Our forefathers ate the manna in the desert, as it is written, "He gave them bread from heaven to eat." Those people did not understand the spiritual things; they did not know what Jesus said. The work of God is this: to believe in the one He has sent. But they knew Jesus' purpose was to let them believe He is the one God has sent. So they asked Jesus, "What sign then you will give, gift, so that we might see it and believe?" Dear brothers and sisters, is it a real face of what we hope? Dear brothers and sisters, is it a real faith? If you believe until you see, it, you see it. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. So the real faith is you believe even it haven't happened. Even though those people had seen Jesus feed five thousand with five. Ro- Loaves and the two fish. They still ask for a bigger miracle, so they told Jesus their forefathers ate manna in the desert, that their ancestor Moses led two million people left Egypt, and stayed for forty years in the desert with only eating manna. Manna. Israelites respect Moses, and the court found the Old Testament. He gave them bread from heaven. Israelites thought he who gave bread from heaven was Moses, and compared Jesus with Moses that he fed Israelites with manna for forty years. But Jesus only fed five thousand people once, so they ask a bigger miracle. Then Jesus answered them in verse thirty-two, "I tell you the truth, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven." Jesus corrected their concepts. That Moses led Israelites in the desert for forty forty years, but it is the Father who gives you the true bread from heavens. The Father not only has given you the bread from heaven, but also keeps giving you the true bread from heaven nowadays. First, the manna was not from Moses. But God the Father, it has already it had already passed. 
Then, as Israelites had eaten manna for forty years, they still hungry. Only Caleb and Joshua, but all Israelites died in the desert. And only the second generation of Israelites could enter into the promised land. So the manna was not the true bread, but the Father now gives the true bread. This is. <clears throat> this is present tense, verse thirty three. For the bread of God is He who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. The true bread is from heaven and gives life to the world, because the fruit of the world will be perished. Only the true bread of God, the Father, gives the eternal life to the world. After they listened to what Jesus said, they were satisfied. Verse thirty four, Sir, they said, from now, from now on, gives us this bread. Their reaction was same as the Samaritan woman, as Jesus told her, "Whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst." Then the Samaritan woman answered Jesus in John chapter four verse fifteen. The woman said to him, "Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty, and I have to keep coming here to draw water." Their reaction was still material, and they even could not understand what Jesus said. Verse thirty five. Then Jesus declared, "I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty." This is a great announcement. What they want is food from outside, but Jesus told them he is the bread of life. In the book of John. Jesus made many announcements with "I am the" to improve people's material perspective to spiritual perspective. In the next few, in the next weeks, in the next few weeks, we will read more. In John chapter six, verse thirty-five, "I am the bread of life." John chapter eight, verse verse twelve. I am the light of the world, John chapter ten verse nine. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. Verse eleven. I am the good shepherd, chapter eleven verse twenty five. I am the resurrection and the life, chapter fourteen verse six. I am the way and the truth and the life, chapter fifteen verse one. I am the true vine. Jesus' announcement gave us a picture like what we have experienced in our daily life. It's given a spiritual meaning. Let's go back to chapter six, verse verse thirty five. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never, will never go hungry. Any time, if if we are weak in our spirit, it means we are away from the God. We are not in front of the Lord, so come to the Lord because He is the bread of life. He keeps giving to us, and we will never go hungry. Moreover, he who believes in me will never be thirsty. Those who believes in the Lord will never be thirsty, because whoever believes in Him, as the Scripture has said, streams of living water from flow from. Of living water will flow from within Him. Therefore, as we believe in Him and come in front of Him, He will never go. We will never go hungry and. Be thirsty, dear brothers and sisters. Why sometimes we still are weak, because we are like those people still staying on the material stage, 
and the seeing things from the earthly perspective. Pray the Lord transform our point of view. Most of time, we are like those people, always try to do things by ourselves. Then the more we do, the more we are tired, and the more thirsty. As Jesus said, the work of God is is to believe in the one He has sent. The only thing we need to work is simply come to the Lord, enjoy His supply, read His word. Then we will never go hungry and be thirsty. Let's pray. We admit that most of time we are like those people, always do what we do and think think what we think, ask for more miracles. However, the only thing we need to do is to is to be still in front of you. Don't need to work by ourselves and simply receive what you give to us. Please give us the spirit, the spirit of wisdom and the re- revelation. Bless my daily life. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.